Hi, Hi folks. folks! Thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist who escaped suburbia and now live in a nearly 200 year old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dogs, Jack Spaniels, and the newest member of our clan, Puppy Nori. This week, the tranquility of Skylife Cottage is shattered as Nori and Jack rambunctiously get to know each other. And we begin training our new puppy right from the offset. But how quickly will he pick it up? Plus, Willie takes a little time out from the puppy chaos to continue working on the Land Rover, while there's a brief window of opportunity in the wild winter storms. Join, Join us, us as we continue. continue. Live in the sky life. Do you want to go walkies? Oh, are we going to take your brother with us? We're going to try and take Nori a walk in my old fishing rucksack. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's too little yet to go out. He hasn't had all his jabs. No. And he can't do that much exercise, so he's just going to get a carry. Yeah. This is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> right, come, come on, on then. Let's, let's go. On the road. Let's go, walkies. I've got a dog in a rucksack. A dog in a bag. <laughs> I'm like Paris Hilton. Jam on then, monkey. I'm singing to him to settle him. Diggy doggy, diggy diggy doggy. He's a little puppy in a bag. For his safety, one vaccination. We can't release him into the nation. Did I just rhyme nation with nation? I'm meant to be a summer here. <laughs> this is the beach, pups. And this is where you're going to have so much fun in your life. You're going to love this place. You sure are. This is so the whole family can go on walks. That's the whole point of this. Because at the moment we've been taking turns to come down here. But this is our solution to... Uh, actually, I'll take credit for this one. <laughs> this, is my, this is my solution to uh, all of us coming out as a family again. And soon, he'll be running around like a mad thing. He sure will. Like that one over there. Yeah. Somewhere in the distance. He's only had one round of vaccinations and he's another one before he's vaccinated properly. He is also eating everything pretty much at the moment. So not really keen on bringing him down to the sand and the salt water and the seaweed just yet until he's decided to stop exploring with everything with his mouth. Mum's having a shot. How is he feeling? Jack and Nori! Jack and Nori! Hey buddy! This is how you can come to the beach without actually touching the ground. You having fun? Yeah. He's a little lump, but I he's think, not too heavy. I think he's falling asleep. Are you falling asleep, puppy? Oh, baby. Is mum nice and cosy and warm? I'll tell you who isn't falling asleep. <laughs> hey, pops. <laughs> this one. You've got a little brother, Jack. That's nice, isn't it? In the summer, you'll be able to play together when you've stopped <laughs> being a grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking along, beautiful sunshine, you can hear the waves, and Nori is in his bag, which I'm sure he's enjoying. He's enjoying chewing the bag, <laughs> more than anything, I think. Right, can we stop that now? No, don't chew the hair. Don't chew the hair, don't <laughs> chew the bag. Oh, oh, oh no. And you're a little wrinkler. And Jack. I don't know what Jack's doing. Uh, Is that it. a rock? Leave that, Jack. You're not meant to pick up rocks, you daft muck. Where's your stick? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> First family walk. Not too conventional, but then it's this channel, so there's a surprise. The wee man's asleep, but we were just a bit concerned because he was just shaking slightly. 
I don't know if he was just dreaming or he's cold, but we're not taking any risks. So he's got a little blanket in there, but it must have slipped off him, I think. So that's them going back. And me and this little tearaway, we're going to carry our walk on, aren't we? <laughs> Come on then, bud. Come on, let's go in the river. I think that's a dipper up ahead. I don't know how long it's going to stay ahead though, because Jack keeps walking. There's birds over there on the shore. You get really close to them before they fly away. I'm not sure if they're plovers. They're cute anyway. Even though Jack was barking a second ago, they haven't flown away. They're really fearless. They don't seem to care about Jack. There's a dipper. Jack. Jack's not happy because I'm not paying full attention to him. It's good that Jack gets this piece as well. He gets some uh, space from the puppy because the puppy is constant. Jack can be a little bit cranky about it because, well, it's his space and he's been here for a long time. And then all of a sudden a wee upstart comes along and then he's got to toe the line, you know, he's got to behave and, and be good. And he is most of the time. <laughs> Although there has been a few incidents of rah and things, but they're just establishing the barking order, as I call it, which is completely normal. The first night we were a bit worried second day it improved and then this is the third day and uh and jack has actually been really good today he's sort of coming around to the idea i think he just felt a bit threatened by nori but as i said i'm really pleased to say that it's uh calming down and they're getting used to each other the one thing that jack is very protective over if you give him a treat and nori you know still finding his boundaries if he goes over, Jack will really snarl at him. But he has never, ever bit another dog, Jack. He's never even been close to that kind of thing. So I'm not concerned about that. My main concern really was that Norrie would be upset and uh, stressed. But he really doesn't care. But they're just finding their boundaries. And that's bound to happen with any new puppy that you bring into the house. The older dog is always going to try and assert his authority. That's natural. It's just a bit of... Uh... I'm the boss. <laughs> Right, Paul, should we go back now? You had a nice time. You had a wee break from the devil dog. The wee devil dog that bites your ears. <laughs> that was fun. Should we go back to the house and see mummy? <laughs> Nori versus the steps. Careful, gentle. Come on then. Come on, Nori. Come on. That's not the way. You know, you can do steps. Uh, or maybe not. <laughs> I'm out in the shed and the reason I'm out in the shed is because I'm about to do a little bit of a paint job of the bottom corner of the driver's door on the Land Rover. It's quite rusty and it needs looking at. It's just going to get worse and eventually it'll corrode and be a problem. The first thing we're going to do is sand it back. Then I'm going to add some Q-Rust, which is the rust treatment I normally use. Let that dry. A few coats of paint followed by a clear lacquer. Let's get it done. You can see the problem here. It's had a little bit of a bash. I'm not even going to attempt to fix that. It's not too big a deal, but the rust is. I'm going to sand all this back, then I'm going to treat it, and then I'm going to paint it. There we have it. So far, I want to take it back. Started with 80 grit sandpaper and went all the way down to 2,500. So that's nice and smooth now. The next step is to rust treatment it. Okay, let that dry off now, and then on with the paint. Oh yeah, this paint doesn't need a primer apparently, so otherwise I'd be using a primer. Can says it doesn't need it, so why bother? Okay, the Q-Dust is now dry, and it looks good. Ready for painting. So let's get that done next. I masked off some of the inside of the door as well, because I don't want to go on the rubber seals, so I've covered them up. This is the correct colour. Or it should be. It's called Keswick Green, which is what the car is. So here's hoping. There's right. Try a little bit first. Let's get it going. Okay, so looks a good match. And that's even when it's wet. So I'll leave that for about 15 20 minutes, I think it says, between coats. Put this back in the heat, which makes it thinner. And uh, come and do another coat.
It does look a little bit light at the moment, but I do think that'll dull down to match when the paint's had a chance to dry. Right, I've done three coats of paint and now I'm going to put the lacquer on. Also three coats. I've got to work pretty fast because it'll drop down to about four degrees and you're not really meant to let it drop down below five. So I'm hoping to get it done within the next two hours and then I'll use a hairdryer very gently as well in the last coat. Let's get some lacquer on there. Right, that's coat number one done. Got another two to do, 25 minutes apart, but I don't film the same thing over and over again, there's no point. I'll do another two coats and then we'll come back to it. I said done. Now you can probably see there's a very slight gradient as it goes up, but I did that on purpose. Rather than just trying to do here, you would see an obvious line there. So I've just graded it up, which is what I do with my bottle repairs as well, with stoneware. Very same principle. Yeah, it's like a nice gradient that goes all the way up. If you look at it from a bit further away, you can probably see just a slight, like an ombre sort of thing. But I'd far rather have that than a door that's all rusted down here. There's a great big chunk of rust. That's now sorted, that's not going to rust anymore. It's really protected and I just think it looks cool. You'd have to really look for it to see it. And I don't know about you, but there's not an awful lot to see now. So I'm really chuffed with that. If I was going to do it again, I'd probably wash the whole door rather than just rubbing off the bit that I was working on. But aside from that, you know, you live, you learn. It's come out really well and I'm chuffed with it. So that's the main thing. On to the next project. That's what I should have done in the first place, just given a bit of a clean. And yeah, you can see a bit of a difference, a little grading there, but it really doesn't bother me. It's an awful lot better than it was, that's for sure. Nori's mum's gone food shopping and Nori is staying with his dad. This is the first time I've been left alone with Nori whilst Sarah's out and right now he's very tired because he got up so early and charged around and played with Jack and played with me and bit my hands a few times. Now he's all tuckered out so he's going to sleep for a bit which means I can get some editing done. So let's get on with that and see how long that lasts before Nori wakes up and demands some more fun. Less than an hour later and we've been outside haven't we already? You went for a widow. He always goes for a whittle as soon as he wakes up. Most puppies do. And then we came back in and I was hoping he would go in his bed. He has not gone in his bed. He's on my rugs. My very expensive vintage rugs. Which, well, understandably, judging by what he's doing now, makes me quite nervous. Nori! Nori! You're not meant to do that, bud. Go in your bed. Good boy! Good boy. Lie down. Good boy. Not entirely sure how much work I'm going to get done today before Sarah gets back. We shall see. Little dude. Nori, right, where are you? I prefer you didn't go on the rugs. You go to mum's studio. Oh, he wants to go outside again. You want to go outside? Good boy. Oh, you don't need to go outside. You want to go outside and play with sticks. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to get much work done today. He's off. Oh, he's at the front door. Right, come on, Nori! You're going to go in your bed. You're going to lie down. Don't bite metal. Bad, bad ideas. I'll tell you what, we'll take his chew toy away. And then maybe he'll lie down. And put it up here. Come and lie down, pups. Daddy can do some work. What about that for a plan? You don't bite daddy's fingers. Maybe I'll give him that chew toy back. Right, fine. Stay there. I've got to get some work done, dude. Um, young man, young man, young man. You go under my desk now. You better not be looking for some wires to chew. Yeah, I thought you might. Oi, ah, 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 no way, dude. Come on, go and lie down. Ah, oh, Nori. The problem is I'm, I'm actually holding a laptop. Got a laptop there and I've got no room on my desk for two some holding this because I was about to transfer files from that one to that one. So I'm going to have to put this laptop down. Right. And then... Oh. Nora monkey! Nora monkey! You're not meant to chew the furniture, dude. What about this instead? Do you want that to chew? That was never going to work, was it? Oh. <laughs> okay. He's playing Bonnie, I think. He just had his mum's slipper in his mouth. You are a wee rascal. You are a wee beautiful rascal. 
but I do love you, even though you're a rascal. Actually, probably because you're a rascal. Rascal to rascal, eh? Ah, uh ah, -uh, no, not in there. No, absolutely not allowed in there, mister. Sorry. You can't eat cables, nor you go bang bang. You can go play by the drums if you want. That's fine too. Like butter wouldn't melt, but blood would seep from my fingers. Are you gonna lie down and behave for a bit so I can get some work done? Is that a stone? Oh man! He will find everything. Look at the size of the stone. It must have come out of my shoe. And this little monster will find it if it's on the floor. New plan. Tire the puppy out in the garden with a stick. Hopefully then he'll do some sleeping and I can get some more work done. Come on, Nori New. Jack have come out on a little road trip today. He's come out with me to get the food shop. I wouldn't usually bring Jack along with me on this trip. It's a 45 minute drive each way to pick up the Asda delivery and it can be a little bit boring for Jack but there's a lot of intense puppy playtime going on back at Skylife Cottage so it's quite nice for Jack just to come out with one of us and have some one-on-one -on -one time. Hey pups! He's already been made a fuss of by at least three people that we've met, including the Asda delivery driver. We're going to grab, I think, a coffee and maybe a bite to eat at the coffee bothy because I'm starving. And then I'm going to take Jack out for a walk before we head back to the cottage. Some nice one-on-one -on -one time for me and Jack Spaniels because he does deserve it. He's putting up with a lot with Nori and it's nice for him to know he's got his own time with us as well. <laughs> had half an hour of play do you think you're going to be the next thing out of my mouth was going to be ready for a lie down the answer is no nori 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 down right we're gonna to have to hang that up okay we're gonna be doing some work now or are we still in play mode oh 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 folks what are we seeing here oh yes good little boy and I oh, know, he's settling. Right, cool. Uh, uh, oh, he's not settling. He's destroying. Oh, okay, that was short lived. Don't go in the drum, dude. You'll never get out. Nori. Nori, don't bite the drum. Where are you going, pups? What have you got? What, what are you eating? Right, come and get in your bed. Come on, Nori. Come on now. There's a good boy. No. I'm hoping that. Oh. You might lie down now. I'm just thinking I should probably turn this radio around or at least wrap that cable around that thing, which I'll do now. Okay, can't get to that cable now. He wasn't actually going to it anyway, it's just me being paranoid, but better safe than naughty. Hey, got the new one. You gonna go to sleep, puppy? And daddy do some work? Good boy. It's playtime again. Are you going in beside Dad's drums? I'm not really sure I want you in there. Bong. Hey, hey. You're a little rock star. Hey, cutie pie. Ow! Ow! If your mum doesn't come back soon, we ain't going to get a video together this week, mate. Don't want to let your public down, do you? Having a scratch. Doesn't give a sh sugar. <laughs> Don't buy metal. No, no. That's a really bad idea. Don't eat that. No, no, no. Don't eat that. <sighs> Don't eat that. Nori. Come out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Come out. Good boy. Hey, bud. Ah, uh, ow. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's what happens when you bite people. It hurts. Right, are you going to fall asleep now? I don't think you will, but we'll try. Good boy. <laughs> You know what, I think it may be playtime again. What's this? What's this? <sighs> oh, he's still full of beans. I thought 
thought he was done playing there, but he's not. Look, he's chewing my beard. We may have to rethink the beard strategy. Okay. I was trying to film him there to say, yeah, uh, he's going back in his bed, but as you can see, he is not in his bed. I'll try again. You ready for a little sleep yet? You ready for a little snooze? I want to say yes. My gut's telling me no. Roly boly on your dummy. Is it sleeping time? Absolutely not. Nori, Nori, Nori. <sighs> Nori, come out of there. Nori, Nori, right. <sighs> come on, monkey. Where's your toy? Here you go, what's that? Nice position there, Nori. That's better. He's actually playing with his toy. This doesn't happen often. He prefers fingers, parts of drums, furniture, Jack's tail. This is good, Nori. A very good boy. Yes, good boy. Chew that instead of dad. Now, can I get some work done? What are you eating? How many times have you said, what are you eating in the last few days? How many times have we said, good boy, and ah, ah and ah, don't dad. bite me? Yeah, this is day five and we've discovered that Nori will now submit to Jack. He'll actually roll on his back if Jack's been over the top. What we started doing, rather than tell Jack off or tell Nori off when they're playing and getting their boundaries, just backing away and acting like totally bored if they're being play aggressive towards each other. And when they're not doing that, if they interact with each other, but they don't get rah-rah, then they get high praise and that is changed it from a situation even yesterday afternoon where they were being really aggro in each other's faces still in a play way i have to say because the tails are wagging and this is massive progress with both the dogs and we are chuffed yay nori has found the fence but it doesn't look like he can get his body through. No. <laughs> Graceful. We've had that field full of sheep for a lot of the year. There aren't any here at the minute, which is good. Um, yes, there are. Where? There they are. Where there's are they the sheepies. Sheepies through there, and there's sheepies over there. Can you see them? Yeah. So they can all get into this field, and they were here this morning, but Nori was just looking at them. And we'll teach him that he's got to stop anytime he sees sheep. Just like Jack. Right, should we, uh, should we get to work? What's that? <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> work is only when the puppy lets us. Mm, yeah. Willie is on work duty. He is in the buyer and to give him a bit of peace, I've got charge of the dogs and I'm not getting much work done because they are in play mode. So we've come outside into the sunshine and I'm spending most of my time taking a few pictures of Nori and Jack and keeping Nori off the compost heap. I don't actually mind spending this time outside playing with the dogs because at this point when the sun comes over the hill over there it comes right in through the buyer door and hits me smack in the face at my desk. I may have to rethink that configuration of the studio. It would appear Nori has worked out that if he scratches at the door he gets let in. Can you go inside? Good boy! Jack is staying outside as usual. Constant play mode. It's been five days now, not even a week. So you're not even nine weeks old and Nori's already learned his name. I'm pretty sure he also knows Cross the Bridge and he's getting to know Outside as well for Whittles. You're a very clever dog, Nori, and there's a lot more that you can learn. I'm gonna do some training. Good boy. Right, come. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. This dog's a flipping genius. Good boy. Nori, sit. Good boy. <laughs> no, a little piranha. Right, sit. Sit. Nori, sit. 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 Good boy. Kisses. Oh, that was not a kiss. Yeah, there's a reason I took my earrings out before we got Nori. I'm not sure how long it'll be before I can put them back in again. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 good boy. Sit. Good boy. Sit. 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 Sit
Good boy! You'll be taking on Jack with his tricks in no time. All gone. That's not the way. Good boy! Yay! Nori did the steps! Clever boy! Who's a clever boy? Who's this clever dog? Eh? This puppy dog? Yeah, keep out the drains, thanks. Okay, the thing about this beard is, this little puppy thinks it's his breakfast, his lunch and his dinner. And it's none of those. It's my beard. But you still eat it, don't you? So unfortunately, it's coming off. And it's coming off now because it's really sore when he chews it. And also he gets his mouth full of beard hairs, which I'm sure isn't the best for a puppy. You're going to do it now, aren't you? See? You see what I mean? So the beard, unfortunately, not through choice. And certainly not from anybody's comments or suggestions. That's for absolutely sure. It's coming off, isn't it, pups? Let's do this. Three, two, one. There it isn't. And this little boy can't bite my beard anymore because it isn't there. Are you unhappy about this, Nori? Look at those teeth. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I can always grow it back. It only takes a couple of months. Hey, pups. <laughs> hey, Nori. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. And wait. Wait, 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 come. Good boy. Puppy training, puppy training. Let's try again. No, no, what's this? Sit, wait, 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 come. Good boy. Hey, <laughs> you are so clever. This is a nine-week-old puppy that knows how to sit, wait, and then come when he's told. You are a clever little sausage. Well done, pups. We're on day 10 of having the new puppy in the house, and it's great, but we're very tired. As you can probably tell from can, our faces. Yeah, this one is rambunctious, this one is rambunctious, and we are the ones in between. Nori tends to jump up at Jack, and he does a bit of snap, and he's not trying to make contact, I think it's like a game. And then Jack reacts, so he barks at Nori. So it is play, but it can look pretty aggressive, and it is quite scary sometimes. This behaviour may be quite alarming to some viewers, but both dogs are actually playing in spite of how it might look. Rough housing like this is normal and to be expected when introducing dogs in a household, especially when one of the dogs is established and the new dog is a puppy. Jack is asserting his dominance and Nori is testing his boundaries. It may be normal, but good grief it can be loud. As long as it doesn't get out of hand, we don't intervene and supervise the play. Occasionally, we do have to remove Nori for a time out if he gets overexcited. And if it gets too much, what we tend to do is just lift Nori away if Jack's getting a bit too rambunctious. But the main thing is Nori can't go outside yet properly. He gets his final vaccine tomorrow and then from that day on it's two weeks until that takes hold and is fully effective. Nori's kind of under house arrest. Obviously we've got a great garden for running him around and he's absolutely loving that but we can't wait to get them out on a proper walk together. At the moment it's nice that Jack's got that time alone with us as well, yeah. so he's still getting his normal walks. But I think taking them out to somewhere more neutral, where they can both run around and be distracted by other things, is yeah. going to be really good for them. Nori hasn't quite learned all his boundaries yet. He's getting better. He's obviously a very clever dog, as you've seen from all the tricks that he's learned, but learning not to do things is what takes slightly longer. Jack is very much still in the grumpy older sibling yeah. <laughs> role. <laughs> For sure, but Jack has got his time out seat, which is over there, and he goes up there, and if Nori is going to make an approach to him, we always intervene, because that is Jack's safe area. That's where Jack can go to escape from the little shark. 
Yeah. So <laughs> we've yeah. got many names for this little boy. Yeah, I was calling him Fergal, as in Fergal Sharky. He's part angelic cherub. Yeah. And then part actual demon child when he's in one of his moods. And he was actually born on Friday the 13th of October. Yeah. We maybe should have seen this coming. He was the same. I remember when Jack was really young, I was I was demented at one point just by getting bitten all the time. It's happening again. I'm not plotting for punishment. Look at this. I've got holes in my arms, but he's a puppy. That's what they do. It's funny because over Christmas, we got lots of nice new stuff. You got lots of jumpers, I got a new dressing gown, some yeah. new blankets for the sofa. And we're not using any We of can't them. use any of them no. because we've got the puppy. So once he's a bit better trained, then hopefully we can we can start using that stuff. But for now, it's uh, the old tatty stuff. Well, once they, you're yes. gonna start trouble. You're gonna start trouble. But this dog here, he's knackered because the pair of them are just... We're all knackered. We're all shattered. <laughs> but it'll be worth it in the long term. And uh, both the dogs are learning what's right, what's wrong, the boundaries. But yeah, that's the 10 day update. Pup date. Pup date on day 10. <laughs> Let's see where we are on day 20. As always folks, thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do leave us a like, a comment, or subscribe to our channel if you don't already. It's free to do and it really helps us out. If you did enjoy the video and you'd like to support the channel further, you can do so over on Kofi. You can buy us a coffee or the wee dogs a treat. Or if you want to help us out more long term, you can join our community over on Patreon where you get lots of bonus content for helping us out each month, including loads of extra puppy bloopers. My single These Old Walls is still available over on Bandcamp if you want to pick up a copy and thank you so much to everyone that's bought a copy so far. And if you want to shop any of my prints, my Etsy store is open. I still have a few reduced prints left on sale, but not very many. So if you do want them, head over there quickly. Thank you so much to everyone that has supported us by buying from either of our creative ventures. <laughs> Absolutely. All the links to our pages are in the video description. Below. Hello. Thanks again for watching this video and we will see you bam, bam, da, 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 next week. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving our suburban life Moving over the sea to sky Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see When we're living the sky life Living the sky life Distract him from gnawing my wooden blocks I'm standing on. Got this? Totally got it. I may not have a beard at the end of this though. Hmm? I'm sorry, I'm just saying wrap it up because I'm really cold. Okay. <laughs> or if you want to help us out more long term, you can join us over on Patreon by becoming blah blah. What are you eating? Mud. Hey, little Oh, hello. Right. Regular, regular. Or if you want to help us out more long term, you can become. Where is he going? Ha 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 ha! Ah! Hey, Ryan. And there it is! <laughs> Nori's like, who's this guy? Give me that. Ow. Becoming very well acquainted with the inside of his mouth. Yep. yep. Wouldn't be the outro if there wasn't... Tim, oh, so many fluffs. Click here to subscribe to Live in the Sky Life. Click here to go back to the start of our adventures with our very first episode.